Will you calm down? Never in all my years of auditioning have I seen someone this nervous. Shh. My thoughts are practically pounding inside my head right now. Please, can you be silent? I need to concentrate. I have two minutes. I wish you the best of luck, James. Hi there. You're here to audition. Absolutely. All right, take it from the top. <sighs> to be or not to be. Where's my name? Mom? My dear, you know this is not the way to handle anger. I know, but it hurts, Mom. You know how much this stuff tears me apart. Rejection has never been easy for me. I know, sweetie, but you know what my mom used to tell me? What did she tell you? When one door closes, another one opens. What's this? Just a little something I picked up on my way here. It's the audition date for that big company. Oh no, Mom, I can't take this. It's really sweet, but I'm not gonna make it. James got the role last time, so clearly he's a much better actor than I am. Betty, do not say that. Ever since you were little, I have always seen that sweet spot of success in you. I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, of course I'm right. Mother knows best. <laughs> and I will be there with you every step of the way. I can do this. Again, Betty. I'm guessing you're here to audition for our other film. Absolutely. You know what to do? Mm hmm Well, ever since dear Uncle Jack first confessed to us that he had a younger brother who was very wicked. So, how was that? I can definitely see a difference, Betty. That was absolutely marvelous. So, what does that mean? It means... Wait, really? You really mean it? Yes, Betty, I really mean it. Thank you so much, you're not gonna regret it. Let me ask you something, Betty. Why does this fame mean so much to you? Oh, well, my mother was always a part of the silver screen and she practically bathed in camera lights. And she would take me with her to red carpet events when I was younger and I fell in love with everything about it. It was absolutely sensational. Her tight squeeze on my hand, the soft velvet breezing over me, everything. And anytime she would go to parties, it felt like I was right where I was supposed to be, next to her. 
And when she passed, it felt like the fame was supposed to be passed on to me. Like it was hereditary. Anyways, thank you.